you can still come to Cuba. Right. There are 12 categories that Obama set, and Trump didn't affect that. You can still come to Cuba on the support of the Cuban people category. <laughs> <laughs> Now, every, why are they building so many hotels here? You know, tourists, tourists is like the main like business business for for the country. Mm -hmm. So the country needs that. Right. So they building so many hotels in Havana right now. You think it's gonna provide jobs? It's gonna provide jobs, but what happened with that? That the government could get all like the benefits. You know? Ah, they so, still gonna reap most of the benefits. When when the people get a people that work here, for example, it's a hotel right here. Right. They get money when you tip them because oh, they get paid. Their salary is too small. They get paid like one thousand five hundred pesos a month. One thousand five hundred. How much is that in U.S.? That's a hundred and fifty. Hundred fifty dollars a month. Yes. No, it's like fifteen dollars. 150, 50,000. Oh, right. $15 a month? A month. So, but that's for the can, lower can, level. Yeah, lower level. Because the other people make like 30, 30, at Hotel Manzano, they're like at 30, 30, 35. Well, listen, listen that. What about the, talking about a teacher, a doctor? Right. It's like they made like 30 to 40. 30 to 40 dollars a month. A month. And how can people survive on that? The people, everyone have a, a hustle, side hustle. A side hustle. Okay. Side hustle. What do they call that? The tricycle or different? BC taxi in Cuba. B BC taxi. B BC taxi. Bicycle taxi. Okay, so how? So you take them around Old Havana. Old Havana. Okay. I, I and how like, much? How long is the ride, and how much does it cost? I used to share like ten dollars an hour. Ten dollars an hour. So U.S. dollars. Now, yes. Okay. No, at that time was was cook. Cool. See you see. Right, so tell me about the gym we're going to now. We're going to one of the popular. Hold on. Okay. One, I can tell it's the greatest gym in Cuba. Okay. El Trejo. Trejo. It's El Trejo. It's a gym with the like the Olympic Cuban Olympic boxers. Okay. And professional. They have big training there. Your Denis Ugas. So, uh, Ridondo, mm -hmm. Ugas, all the boxers, even like Crawford, visit there, uh, Idris Elba. They went there to train. Istanbul, training there. They went there to train because of film. the notoriety of the trainers there in boxing. Everyone that came, came because they called the, the Cuban boxer school. Cuban boxer school. The technique. Right. It's different. Ah, ah. It's like many people don't like. Don't like. You see all, all the necklace stuff you have? Yes. It's yeah. the see, it's big here. It's big here. Yeah. But it still comes from Africa. From Africa, and straight from Nigeria. Yeah. Yoruba. Yoruba, yeah. Okay. So, many people don't like that technique because that technique is heat and room. It's like Mayweather, like, yeah. don't don't get, like right. Mayweather is like, don't, is get the, this, don't get hit. Right. It's that technique that the Cuban boxing master. school master. Okay, like let's you see. Was off, uh, your Mayweather went there too. Okay. When he came about him. Yeah, Mayweather too. He came to give him respect. Yeah. People sitting in there. Yeah. They waiting online. Right, to get in the supermarket. To get to food. To get bread. Oh, oh because okay. we saw that. We see people waiting online. Let me get on this side. Hold the front. We've been seeing people waiting online every, every, everywhere we've been going. Actually, the situation with food, everything is, is hard. Mm -hmm. Everyone in Cuba, every family, every house have a ration book. Right. It's like food stamp in the US, right. but it's different. They get like six pounds of rice per person, some beans, sugar, and very low prices every month. Right. It's not enough. 
Wow. But it's hard. And what it does is it limits the, the, the hand handling. So everyone is waiting for the bread. They also give you one bread daily. Daily? daily. So you yes. have to go and get the bread every day? Every day. If you want? If you want. But do they go get it anyway even if they don't need it just so they have it? Yes. So every day you have to, how do you go to work and do the other things you need to do <laughs> if you got to go get bread? That's a question. If you see mostly, they are old people. Oh. There is something happening with Cuban population. They're getting older. Yes. What happened? Many people are emigrating. They're going. They left. Outside. They left. They have to if they want to make better for themselves, they right? How, how, how difficult is it to leave and not come back? What, Bro, what, what countries accept Cubans? Because they have, and, and I noticed when I went and was trying to get a, a Brazilian ID, they have forms where they accept people from Colombia, a Dominican Republic, there's Cuba, certain countries, Haiti. right, there's certain Most, countries they automatically will accept you. Like Cuba. Almost like Dominican, refugee type Haiti, thing. Yeah. They don't, most of the countries don't take you, don't, don't they let won't you. Take you. Any countries that will take Cubans. Cuba, actually free, you don't need a visa to Nicaragua, uh -huh. Guyana. Guyana. Um, what else? Venezuela. Venezuela. What Venezuela is doing. Yeah, <laughs> you ain't going to Venezuela. No, no, no most, yeah, yeah. No yeah. most yeah. option, yeah. but listen about the history. Okay. Before, like in the 90s, we Cubans don't own a passport. Uh huh. We have to ask a special permission yeah. to the government. So the government used to decide who left. Uh, it's still like that in a lot of countries. They might so, tell you you can't leave for no reason. Actually, anyone can get the passport. 100 bucks and you go and get the passport the problem is to get a visa right. so no one wants to give a visa to the cuban because the cuban wants to stay come back this way you're coming okay so let's, so let's walk. walk and talk yeah so nobody wants to give a visa because they're not going to leave the country and they think it's going to be flooded with cubans but yeah. it's funny to me because it seems like a whole lot of other countries accepted immigrants from other countries and allowed them to stay and almost ruin their country. Like when I was in Germany, I saw people from other countries all in the barrios making it all on drugs. And like they, they ruined that part of, of, of Frankfurt, Germany, it seems like. You know what I mean? So yeah. these people are just coming to try and get a better life. And I'm pretty sure most Cubans are hardworking people. A Cuba, a country that accepts the Cuba, I don't know if you know about it, is the U.S. Right. But not, like, go to the embassy and get a visa. Mm -hmm. If you get to the border mm -hmm. and ask for asylum, right. they let you in. Oh. If you, in the past, if you used to get in the boat, right. you know about Elian Gonzalez, yeah. yes. the kids, yes. and all the people that go to the sea. Right. It used to be allowed. Right. The law was called wet food, dry food. Right, okay. If you want to carry the foot. sea, they send you back. But if you told touch the land. Sand, land, you will stay. Thus, doesn't exist anymore. anymore. So, so how can you get to America now? 90 day fiance. <laughs> 90 day fiance, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> 90 day, 90 day fiance. That was a good one. Right. That was a good one. <laughs> so anybody looking to get some, Afro-Cuban brothers, <laughs> John gonna help y'all out. <laughs> Are you available too? No, I'm married. Okay, he's married, he's married. I'm married. Just clarify, but kids, yeah. he know a lot of brothers yeah. that can help y'all yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially y'all European ladies. I know y'all Yeah, be coming, man. Y'all be coming down here to get yeah, down. I seen y'all. Especially like, like me, man. With oh, the dreads and everything, the right? I know, because one guy, that uh, my friend, he, he was uh, staying at a family's house when you know you stay with your family. Yeah. And the, 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 the lady's son, he had Jordans and stuff, and he was like, where are you getting Jordans <laughs> from? He said, oh, he have a girlfriend uh, from Europe or something like that. <laughs> uh, also, there is many people that have relatives here in Miami, uh -huh. and all around. Right. Here is, you can get a, a soda. Yeah. Or okay. So are we still in Old Havana? Yes, yeah. this is Old Havana. Okay. Why do they call this part Old Havana? Old Havana. Why do they call this area Old Havana? Because West was the foundation uh -huh. of the city. Uh -huh. You see the restaurant where we eat the, in front of the Capitol? Yes. This street is split. 
Uh, this side is Old Havana. The other side is Centro. Centro, right. It's more local Centro. This is historical Centro. Right. The, pl the place where you're staying mm -hmm. is Vedado. Vedado. It's different. If you see an architecture, it's right. completely different. Tall yeah, buildings. Yeah. In that side, it's like colonial building, colonial doors, right. all that. Right. It's old town. Vedado was developed by American gangsters in the 50s. Oh, okay. Al Capone, Mayer Lansky, oh. Frank Sinatra concert, one right. year at yeah. the National Hotel. Yeah. In the. Hola, niña. Ay, yeah. <laughs> see, most of the, the houses, they live like open door. You can see easily how they live. Right, right, right. Although I see a lot, a lot of poverty, always when I come through here, walk through here, it, it still seems safe. Yeah, like man, nobody it's very, bother you. And even like at night, you will see people in the street walking up yes. and down. It's, it's very safe. It's yes. Very safe. Yeah, but Cubans, we don't hold uh, shotguns. Right. Only police. Right, right. Only police. Even there is like stuff like people, like, you know, like they. Somebody can, in some place, too. I don't know, grab a, a bag, something's wrong, like everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's not that much. The thing is that the consequence. <laughs> It's too great. It's too great, yeah. You can go like five years to 10 years to do that. Right, which makes a lot of sense. I yeah. mean, people in America would shoot somebody, get out in five years, and then shoot somebody again. That's America for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how things are just so different that you know just depending where you go i mean you don't expect things to be the same everywhere but things are so different it's amazing like yeah. it's amazing that's and actually like the street is like quiet because no more tourists right normally it's all the streets are packed this will be packed with tourists and all havana packed. walking around looking walking taking around, pictures and videos yeah. The so it's still the effects of the pandemic. pandemic. And then also, you know, Trump, Trump. tried to stop people from coming. Obama and, got and people let me, to come. Let me tell you, uh -huh. Americans that are listening, you can still come to Cuba. Right. There are 12 categories that Obama said. And Trump didn't affect that. You can still come to Cuba on the support of the Cuban people category. Mm -hmm. That is that my man, Barber World TV is doing here. You already know. Supporting the Cuban and people. Mr. James Guitar. What, 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 one Bring additional caveat that we have to be able to add is that the way in which most people were traveling initially was called a way called people to people. People to people. The people to people, which was an additional one in the category, no longer exists. No, so you have to definitely remember that you still have to um, be compliant with the embargo and the Helms and Burton Act. As it relates towards things concerning tourism, those things are not permissible. But there are things that relate towards supporting the Cuban people that allows for you to support different levels of activities and events and for you to participate inside the community and there's other forms of humanitarianism that you can also do. So you can come to Cuba, but it is very important that you respect both the laws of the United States and in Cuba as it relates towards coming to Cuba. Um, International Zoe will be providing a special um, level of session that will deal specifically with this issue and all the requirements concerning the visa, the level of vaccination that you need to have, the PCR test, and everything else. So there's a lot of things you need to have. It's not the normal process as you visit other countries, but it can be done, and it's a great thing to actually do. Look forward to actually yeah, seeing you come through. Look for that. All right. My man, San Isidro. San you Isidro. Know, you know what it used to be? What? Like the red light district. Like in, oh, really? Yeah. Because like the, in Amsterdam. Like Amsterdam? Because uh -huh. the, the harbor is over there. Ships. Oh, the ships came in. Came in. Uh -huh. And what? This, this neighborhood have 
lot of history. It was a famous pimp, Alberto Yarini. Okay. That have many women working for them. To check out. Yeah, we want to see you. Uh, <laughs> we want to see you spar. We want to see you spar. I'm saying. Look at that bow-legged dog. Boxing G, Rafael Trejo.